The truth is that I think the Lambda function in Excel is pretty straightforward, but for some reason, lots of people struggle to understand it. So in this video, I want to explain it as simply as I possibly can. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here we have a simple example. We've got an array of values which are currently in a random order. And we want to put them in the order of north, south, east, and west. And we're going to use this as an example to illustrate how to use the lambda function. Now I think creating this example is probably harder than understanding the lambda function itself. But let's go for it. First, we will use the x match function. This function finds the position of an item in a list. So I'll type equals x match, open in bracket. We've got the items here in B4 to B15. And then we have our list here in cells E4 to E7. I will select those, close the bracket and calculate. That now gives us the position of where each item exists in our order. North is the first item, therefore it always returns one. South is the second item and always returns two and so on. And this is the sort order that we want to apply. So now we can use the sort by function. Let's edit our formula. At the start, I will add sort by opening bracket. And we want to sort the entire array, which is in cells B4 to C15. Then we want to sort on the result of the X match. So I'll come to the end and close the bracket. And we're done. That now sorts our array into the correct order of north, south, east, and west. And that's our formula. It's constructed from two functions and three ranges. Now let's convert this into a reusable custom function using the Lambda function. I think this is where most people start to panic. Reusable custom function, Lambda, these are phrases that strike fear into our hearts. They sound so complex. So let me reword that for you. And that is our formula. It's constructed of just two functions and three ranges. So now let's change this into a formula where the cell references are replaced with nice placeholder names. So let's edit our formula. And then at the start, we have B4 to C15. And we want to replace this with sort this. Next, we have B4 to B15. And we are going to replace that with based on this. And then finally, for our third range of E4 to E7, we're going to call that into this order. So now we want to sort this based on this into this order. We've now provided our placeholders. If we were to explain this formula to somebody, we might even use these types of terms. Unfortunately, if we try to calculate this, it shows the name error because Excel's got no idea what sort this, based on this, and into this order are. We literally made them up just a few moments ago. So we need to tell Excel that these are names for placeholders. And this is where the Lambda function comes in. So let's edit our formula. At the start, we're going to add our Lambda function, Lambda opening bracket. And we are going to tell Excel about the three placeholders we created. Firstly, there was sort this, then there was based on this, and finally there was into this order. Then we can come to the end and close the bracket on our lambda function. And that is our custom function. It's just a formula where all the values and ranges have been replaced by nicely named placeholders. Unfortunately, if we try to calculate that, it will return the hash calc error. Now, interestingly, this also happens with other functions. If I type equals sum and then commit that, we also get the hash calc error. The same is also true of xlookup. Once again, we get the hash calc error, which isn't surprising because what do we do after we type sum or xlookup? We add brackets and then enter the values that we want Excel to use in that function. So let's go do the same. Let's edit our formula with placeholders 
and then at the end I will enter an opening bracket. I will then tell Excel which ranges we want to use for each placeholder. For sort this, I want to use B4 down to C15. Next we have based on this and I want to use B4 down to B15. Finally we have into this order and I want E4 to E7. I can now close the bracket at the end and it returns the correct value. So we've now given our formula with placeholders some values to use for those placeholders. Now we could leave that as it is and it is a perfectly acceptable formula, but it's not very reusable. It only exists in one cell. So how do we make it reusable? Well, in the same way we make anything in Excel reusable, we create a named item. Let's suggest that we want to make the text Excel off the grid reusable. To do that, we would go to the formulas ribbon and then come across to define name. We might give this a name of company name. We then need to allocate a value to company name. So in the refers to box, we'll enter Excel off the grid. I'll then click OK. That now creates a reusable item. Now, any time on the worksheet, I can click a cell, I can type equals and start typing company name. When we commit that, you can see that that returns Excel off the grid. So that is a reusable item. We need to do the same thing. I will go to the cell and I want to copy the formula with placeholders that we created. Now, I don't want to copy the brackets at the end because that isn't the formula with placeholders. That's providing the values for the placeholders. So let's just copy the section at the start. I'll press Control C. Then I'll press Escape to come out of that edit. Then we want to go to the Define Name option. Let's create the name of Custom Sort. And then in the Refers To box, we're going to remove that current value and press Control V to paste in our formula with placeholders. I'll then click OK. And that's it. We can now use custom sort as the name for our formula with placeholders. So let's update our example. And instead of needing all of this formula here, we're going to remove that. And instead we can just use custom sort. And when that calculates, it still works. And because this is reusable, we can apply it anywhere in our workbook. I'll come to cell G20, type equals custom sort, opening bracket. For the sort this, we're going to select the cells from B20 down to C26. For the based on this, we're going to select B20 down to B26. And for the into this order, we're going to select E20 to E22. We can then close that bracket at the end. And it works. We have reused the formula with placeholders that we created as a name a few moments ago. We can even copy a cell that contains our custom sort. Then we can come across into another workbook and then we can paste that cell into that workbook. Even if we delete that cell, the value still exists in the name manager. Therefore, I can type equals custom sort and we can see that that function exists in this workbook and it's ready to use. So each time you hear the phrase Lambda or reusable custom function, just remember, it's just a fancy term for a formula with placeholders. Now, if you like this video, why not subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. We've also got loads of videos on our channel which use formulas with placeholders. So why not go check them out? And I suggest you start with this one. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.